All right, so the pyramid printer, aka the CR10 S or CR10 V3 clone, has finished printing our new fan mount for the Ender V3. Let's see, that came out pretty good. I was concerned about it printing across with no support. This is really good when it works and when it doesn't it's not <laughs> um i'm also going to try uh this print bed with hairspray anyway um we got that over here and we're printing a case for the pie we just got the pie hooked up over here um and they got it on the page here and they're going to attempt to do ham clock i've got this monitor uh, got this one, and this is the one I'll probably run. Since it's big, I can see it from across the room. And then I got this one here. These are all thrift store finds. If you guys watch my channel, you probably think I have a bunch of money, but I don't. In fact, most everything I've gotten has been for under $500. Uh, like, for example, this radio here and this radio here were both $700. That radio was $400. I traded a lot of stuff for the $3,000 and paid $450. And that came with that tuner as well. Um, oh, I did, in fact, though, buy the field brand new, which was about $1,000. So that's my most expensive radio in the entire shack. With the exception of the FT-102 that I traded an ICOM 7300 and an ALS 500 for, which I, in return, got this radio and a TS-450. Um, so I've got a lot of money into that radio. And honestly, would probably be pretty happy just to get 800 back out of it with all of the other stuff that I've bought for it but um, it's not gonna happen so everything else has been like around $200 or so anyway so okay we did some printing with this today I'm super happy that the uh, um, that this guy here is working pretty good oh it's done oh, okay all right cool That's not bad. Okay, so, um, some pretty stringy stuff there. So, um, anyway, what I was, I'm not going to mount this yet, but it would go down here, it will hold the fan, it will get rid of this piece. Um, so, cool. I can't believe this thing's actually working. And I thought for sure, I was like, man, ugh, this thing's, you know, just never going to work, you know. So, here's the case to the pie. I got to, uh, uh, go ahead and do the other part of it. I just think prints so fast. It's like awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. So, um, yeah. So, shack update. Yes. Uh, lots of stuff in the way here and here. And um, a big printer this size coming tomorrow. A Sunlu S9 Plus. Which I expect to be somewhere in between the quality of this. And something a little higher. It does have a Bowden extruder remote. But one thing we'll definitely end up doing to the Sunlu is probably like a similar setup to that. Anyway. Um, so that's what I've got going on here. And I'm going to print the rest of the pie. So that I can get ham clock going in here. I mean, you know, why not, right? In fact, I like the, the Raspberry Pi so much, I could almost see using that as a main computer if it was fast enough, which I'm sure it's not. But Okay, so we got this one here. We, I think we've already downloaded the bottom, but I'm not sure. I'll download it again. Yep, it's there. Anyway, so Creality, that's what we already printed. Um, and... It didn't take long to print it, so if there's something wrong with it and it just doesn't work out, who cares? Um, it's taking a while to get used to this particular uh, deal because I've been using Cura. But, like, I've only been 3D printing for like two weeks, three weeks maybe. <laughs> um, so, okay. I, I guess it feels like I've been doing it longer. 
but please insert things not happy with something okay all right downloads pie case bottom no we don't want the bottom we want the let me see if we can delete that I, I didn't realize I had accidentally downloaded the bottom again and what the freaking hell is that the top of the bottom do they meet in the middle I don't know something's not right all right so I'm not sure if the bottom place it go open up this other one to see what happens so it says that one's the bottom it says this one's the top to me they look the same and one of them I had to flip um, they're not the same hold on let me go into the um, I'm going to find out which one I actually printed already. Good lord. Um, where did I put it? <laughs> I don't even know where I put it. I mean, geez, I lost it. I guess I'm going to have to print another one. Okay. So, I just got the ports on there. This is, this is going to be the top, I would think. I think this is the top. Um, I mean, it's like really hard to tell. So, okay, so that should be the top, okay, there's not supposed to be any screw holes in the top, the bottom will have screw holes for the pie itself, and then everything else just snaps together, okay, so, ooh, delete that, yes, oh geez, I deleted the wrong one. Clear all. Anyway, appreciate everybody's help, and uh, thanks for watching.